Hi, I'm Amanda of Inspiring Inkin. Welcome to my craft room. In today's video, we're going to be making this little gift box. It looks like a suitcase. It's five inches by three and a half by one and a quarter deep. So it's a good size. It's fully opening. Um, so you can put all sorts of, of different things in it. I'm actually going to be making a variation of, of this. I'm actually going to be making one in rich Razzleberry with some flowery paper, sort of Kath Kidson-esque. Um, but I wanted to show you this version as well. I will talk you through what um, papers and uh, cardstock I used for this version whilst I'm doing the, the um, rich Razzleberry version. But before I started, I just wanted to let you know that we are in May now, uh, May 2018, and we are a month away from the launch of the new Stampin' Up! catalogue. So if you're in one of the five countries of Europe that Stampin' Up! resides in, so that's the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, and you like a copy of the catalogue, please uh, send me all of your address details to amanda at inspiringinkin.com and I will get a copy of the catalogue in the post to you. Also uh, during May, we've got an early release of the Share What You Love bundles and there's some beautiful products in there and I just want to show you very quickly the papers that are part of the bundle. Now, this is a huge set of papers. So normally stamping up 12 by 12 papers come uh, 12 sheets to a pack. So you've got six double-sided designs and you get two sheets of each. Well this pack is 24 sheets. So you've got four sheets of each of the patterns. I will, when I turn the camera around, show you them in close-up. Um, this is actually the pattern that we're going to be uh, using today. Um, there's this one. And I'm hoping the camera's going to be able to pick this up. Some of the sheets actually have a pearlized finish on them. And the pearl is to celebrate Stampin' Up's 30th birthday. Um, this one's also pearlized and some lovely leaves. Um, this one, really big flowers and text on the back. This one, yeah, this one's another pearlized sheet again with leaves and this is my absolute favorite blue of course it's my favorite um but it's um also got pearlized and then a more subtle background and also this isn't normal thickness of a of, uh, design series paper it is thick it's not as thick as cardstock but you can absolutely use this um, to make boxes and things. It's really sturdy. Um, so I will pop those here. So when I turn the camera around, I'll just quickly show you them um, and then we'll get started with the crafting. All you are going to need is some cardstock and some patterned paper, your trimmer, a one inch punch, a scoreboard but you can use your trimmer it's just I find it easier to use the scoreboard or quicker really to use the scoreboard some Tombow glue and some scissors so let's get started so here is the suitcase in close-up you can see it's decorated um, on all the corners and let me just open that out and then you can see like I said it's a really a really good size I'll pop that to one side and here are the, the papers and I really hope the camera can pick these papers up. They are so beautiful. So there's my favourite one <laughs> with the, the uh, crumb cake on the back. We've got leaves and razzleberry flowers there. This beautiful, beautiful papers. Um, I'm sure somebody's going to ask. These are all um, names of plants and trees. So Helianthus, um, there's Asa there, Veronica, uh, Delphinium, Jasminum. So these are all um, 
botanical names. Some lovely leaves. This is really cool with the, the shimmery pearl eyes. This one, ugh, spots. And then this one is the one that I'm going to use, which is why there's not very much of it left. Okay, so I'm going to move those papers out of the way for now. Get a piece of um, rich razzleberry. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know that whenever I'm making something 3D, I always have a template. All of the um, measurements and um, so the details of what I've used will all be on my blog, which is www.inspiringinkin.com. If you're actually in YouTube, if you click the see more underneath the video, all of the measurements and things will be there for you as well. Um, so don't worry if you don't manage to take everything down as you're going. But it is so easy. The scoring is, is really straightforward and building the boxes is, is straightforward as well. So we're going to start out. We need a 10 and 3 quarter inch by 7 and a half inch piece of card. That means um, that even if you're in North America and you've got 8, 8 and a half by 11, you can do this. Um, so I'm going to cut this at seven and a half and then ten and three quarters okay now this strip here I'm actually going to use for the handle um, but if your cardstock is a slightly different size you need a one inch strip and this is about seven and a half inches you won't need it to be that long um, so that is all the cutting I'm going to do. Let's move that out of the way and bring in my scoreboard. Um, so I'm going to start scoring um, with the long edge at the top. I'm going to score at one and a quarter inches. Four and three quarters. Six nine and a half and then turn it around and score it at one and a quarter and six and a quarter okay um and then i'm going to use the patterned paper and i need six patterned circles um so i'm just going to punch out six different two three four five six um so before i actually get rid of the scoreboard i'm gonna show you now we need to fold these into quarters now you can just do it just by folding it and then folding it again um, but I know many of you like it to be a little more precise than that. So what you can do is you can put it on your scoreboard, tuck it right into the corner and then score it at half an inch and turn it around and score it at half an inch again. Yeah, so and you're going to need to do that for all of them. So I'm just going to quickly grab them just do that um, it will make perfect sense in a moment when I actually start coming to assemble the box um, I love this um, wiggly line on these it's really pretty so uh, that's number three Number four and number five. Okay, so then the only other things you're going to need, you're going to need a one inch strip of patterned paper and that is actually going to go around both sides. But because this pattern is directional, as in the flowers need to be going, growing up, we're going to have to cut this in half 
and and overlap it. So I'm just going to grab my scissors and snip that. Okay, so that's that piece. What else do we need? Oh, yes, we need a little bit of decoration for the handle as well. So let's just cut. So the handle is half an inch. So we're just going to cut a three quarter inch strip. There we go. Oop. That didn't quite cut straight. Hang on. Don't you love it when it doesn't quite go to plan? So let's get rid of that bit. Slide that along there. There. Okay. So three quarters of an inch. Right. So the trimmer can definitely go away now. So that strip is for there. And these strips are for this one. Okay. So what we need to do is start off with this piece and you need to stick these strips down now before you start folding so that the paper when it's attached actually has um, can, can actually fold with the box so I'm just going to snip that off a little bit shorter so that's going to go there and then this bar this bit has got to go this way okay so you're growing up that way and growing up that way so I'm just going to use my Tombow um, and whenever you're making boxes and things really I do recommend that you use a um, Tombow because it's it's just such a good glue okay so this section here is one two three four it's five inches this strip is an inch long so if you get your grid paper and actually this is a question I get asked a lot Amanda I love your grid paper it'd be really good for my work surface but you know you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator obviously you can just get it and it's actually in the catalogue so you can get it it's a it's a hundred sheets so it'll keep going for ages um, but I use it for measuring often so let me put this here and I'll show you. So that's the five inches, which is that strip there. So if you pop that on there, this is an inch strip. And then it's going to line up beautifully. And then flip it around and use your Tombow glue on there again. And then pop that down there in the same place. Now I'm just going to overlap it at the top a little bit so that my join is pretty much in the middle. There we go. Give it a good old press down and then you can trim off the excess. So now as I start reinforcing these fold lines, this patterned paper is going to go with it. So when you've scored a piece of, of paper or card, you get these lovely grooves. And using a bone folder and pressing down and going over the top reinforces those score lines. So it really helps make sure that the box or the bag, whatever it is that you're making, will actually fold properly on those areas. So one more. So you can see it's coming coming to, into shape already. So the cut lines on my template, we're cutting from the long edge towards the center to the, the cross on all, all of the pieces. So a really straightforward box to make. So we're just going to go one. Two, three, four, and then the same this side. Okay, so all of 
these little squares are all going to be tucked in and folded. Now a little tip for you is I cut a little tiny wedge shape, little tiny extra piece of cardstock away um, and I do that on this one on both sides, a little tiny bit. And on this side, and then the same on here. And what that actually, what that means, what that, sorry, that what that actually does is it makes this a tiny bit shorter. So that when you fold it, it's much easier to get a straight line at the top. So let's just do that. And that. And one more. Okay. So, I, if I open this one up, you'll be able to see a little bit better. I'm going to make the box bit first and then the lid. So I'm going to put glue on these two pieces. And then fold them in. And just hold it tight, just for a second. And you want to make sure that that line is nice and straight. And that piece there is um, is level. Let me go again. A little bit of glue at the top and bottom, and then this one. Just make sure it's nice and lined up. And then the same with this one. So there we go. Okay, so that is the box part done. And now to make the lid, we're just folding these two pieces in to make a lid like that. There are so many, it's with so many patterned papers, there's so many variations that you could do with this. Um, and it's it's just really nice to have a different style of, of gift box. There we go. So that's that one. I've just got two. Hang on. Don't know whether you can see. There's a tiny little burr there of cardstock. Let me just snip that away. And then that's much better. There. Okay, so there's the box made. So that was super quick, wasn't it? So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the little circles that we made. And you're going to have different amounts of circles. So some of them are going to be semicircles, some quarter circles, some three quarter circles, which is why we have scored them. So I'm going to start at the top and I know at the top I'm going to need three quarter circles. So I'm just going to snip out those and keep that because obviously you're going to need that on um, one of the other corners. And then this is going to go on here and the reason it's a three-quarter circle is because you fold it and that's how you make your little um, I don't know what they're called actually it's like a it's like a corner protector um, and you find them on fancy fancy suitcases so that's going to go there and as always the coordination is fabulous with stamping up. So this is the, the Razzleberry coordinating paper and the pattern there. So that one's going to go there. 
and then this one is going to go on the other corner. Now you do have to be careful as you're putting these on because what you don't want to do is you don't want to seal up an opening bit of the box. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. I've got bits of fluff today. There we go. Just snip that off. Right, okay. So they're the two corners. Now here, this edge, this piece is opening. But we still need a three-quarter piece. So let's just cut that one. And cut that one. So when you're putting it on, make sure that the cut piece is there. Because then... It won't stop your suitcase from opening, which would be a bit of a disaster, really. Just press these down a bit more. Okay, so that's just going to go there. And then we're going to do the same on the other side, and then we'll get into the halves and the quarters. So that's going to go there and there. Okay, so if I open up the box, you'll be able to see better. So here, this needs to be a half and this needs to be a half. So that's really straightforward. Cut it in half. Fold it over. Same with this one. Okay. Then this one has got to be a quarter, as has this one. And we've got some of those already. fingers not to the box and there and then we want a half there and a half there match up with that piece and then we'll have two more pieces and the handle to do and then we're done so this is another half piece which is going to go here and then Looking all around, so there's just those pieces there which are quarter pieces, and that is all the pieces I have left, which is perfect. So that's going there. Oh, it just does not want to stick. It's a problem, I've got Tombow on my fingers, so it's sticking to my fingers, not to the box. There we go. Okay, so look all of the corners, all of the different patterns. Um, I love the, the stripes going different ways. Um, you can, obviously, if you want to, you can have them all going the, the same way. But I just love this being all different. So let's stick this on here. And what we're going to do first is decide 
the size of the handle. So I want the handle to be about that long, which is six inches. So that's easy and straightforward. And then this piece is also six inches already. So we'll just a tiny bit over, so I'll just trim that. So I'm going to put the glue on there like that. And then what I am going to do is I'm just going to bring the scoreboard in and just score at three quarters of an inch. Um, because I want the handle to lie flat on the top of the, the case. So I want it to lie flat, but then I want it to curve. So in order to do that, what I'm actually going to do is just fold that. So these two pieces are the pieces that are going to be uh, stuck down. And then this piece is going to curve up. Now, in order to encourage it, use your bone folder and your thumb and just run it over that bit a little bit and it, it, it will give it a little bit of shape. And then we're just going to pop that down there like that. So a little bit of glue here and here. And pop that down. That. So this handle is higher or taller than the previous one, which I actually really like. So I will show you both of them side by side. I'll just tidy up a bit of my mess. So here you go. So there are both of the suitcases. Um, they're, as I said before, they're fully, fully opening. I will put all of the measurements, the different handle sizes and things on um, the information under the see more um, on YouTube. Or if you're on my blog, if you just scroll down, you'll see it there. All of the products that I've used today, you can purchase from my online store. And if you go to www.inspiringinkin.com, there is a link to my shop there. Do subscribe to my blog and to my YouTube channel. That way you'll always know when I have released a new blog post or a new video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.